Hi everybody, this is Wolf. This is an incredible event. This is our second gathering here in the uh, second digital gathering that we have in this incredible venue, the British Atlantic Survey. Uh, as you can hear the buzz above, we have some incredible talks leading to some very, very exciting networking. The digital environment story is, is, is brought to talks about digital technology and applied to environmental problems. Uh, and that digital technology is the key to unlocking some of our environmental uh, challenges, such as climate change and mitigation, biodiversity challenge. Uh, and here at the, uh, at the British Antarctic Survey, we have gathered a group of experts to debate and discuss those particular opportunities and how those opportunities will unlock our challenges. The conference involves oral presentations of 20 minutes in length where we hear the latest state of art of the work that's underway. It involves a series of spotlight talks, each of which is 10 minutes long, which is a quick update on what's going on, and a series of posters where we have uh, descriptions of the work that um, people are undertaking. We also have a series of workshops which have been running, and these workshops give all of the community a chance to come together to learn about different aspects of digital data science in environmental science. I am Alejandro Coca Castro. I am a research fellow at the Alan Turing Institute. I'm working with a, a, a very diverse uh, research team on the topics of environmental sustainability and attending to the CDA, CDA network event, uh, Digital Gathering 2023, as a participant and as well as a presenter. And very glad about this network because the network is a very positive uh, community that is aiming to uh, change ideas related to environmental science. And I see a lot of progress uh, from different UK institutions, UK researchers, and in terms of leading these uh, uh, models and data sets and software to try to tackle very important environmental challenges now in the UK but as well in other areas of the world. In my case what I impressed impressed is very impressive about the network is the the different uh, abroad of topics that is they are covering in this conference and as well how a collaboration is fostered through through this kind of networking that we are doing here and as well uh, early career scientists of this network and uh, it's very positive uh, what uh, this is impacting in, in my future career of researcher in the UK. Hi, uh, my name is Michael Aspinall from Lancaster University. My research looks at developing a new type of ground-based cosmic radiation neutron monitor. This is a global network of instruments which act together to enable us to deduce the primary cosmic radiation that is entering our, the Earth's atmosphere. Some of the impacts that severe space weather can have on our critical infrastructure include aviation, power grids, rail networks, transportation, the internet, satellite, navigation and communication. So it's a pretty important thing. I'm here at the NERC um, Digital Gathering 2023 conference to talk about some of my research and the impact that it has in the wider community. So, welcome to the Construction Digital Environment Data Gathering. Um, can you tell us something about your first impression here? Um, so, it's lovely to be here at the Data Gathering. Um, it's great to be in such an interdisciplinary group. I've worked for a long time in atmospheric research, so it's nice to meet researchers from all over lots of different domains, whether they've done culture research, whether they're looking at earth and sediments and things like that. It's a really exciting environment to be in. That the digital, the need for digital infrastructure kind of crosses lots of different scientific domains, and so it's lovely to have these interdisciplinary conversations. What does digital environment mean to you? <laughs> so I'm um, 
increasingly aware of the importance of conserving the environment. It's something that I've worked on for a long time. And I think that the digital environment, the digital sphere, gives us lots of opportunities, lots of things, ways that we can work together to help conserve the environment. So a digital environment is partly about gaining more information about the status of the environment. Can we use sensors to understand what the, what the environment is decorating, what we need to work on? Digital environment can also offer quite a lot of solutions to environmental problems, which is really exciting. Well, uh, thanks very much for taking part in this. Um, so the first question I'm going to ask you is, what were your first impressions as you walked in here? How, do you, how did you find this place? Yeah, well, uh, yeah, coming in the door, it's a really exciting venue. It's nice and light. Uh, lots of interesting exhibitions around. Um, yeah, there's just a, a good feeling of energy and things. Um, and then going upstairs, you've got sealed posters lots of people, um, yeah, and a real range of backgrounds as well, so yeah, really excited about what you're doing. The concept of digital environment, what does it mean to you, how do you understand that? Uh, it's a difficult question, this one. So, I think for me, the digital environment is about um, maybe putting parameters, putting uh, something that we can analyse uh, on the world around us, so about how we can interpret it in a way that allows us to... Um, yeah, gather evidence, make predictions, extrapolate that information, um, and just generally communicate it to uh, advance our understanding. Um, so yeah, I think that's what's good. This has been a really useful meeting. It's um, great to learn from your peers in other places solving similar problems. The problems of environmental data are pretty uniform. There's heterogeneity of data. There's uh, difficulty in uh, melding data from different sources. There's the new data inputs from sensors. And this meeting has shown that other people in other institutes and other communities are really grappling with those same problems and have made real progress. And it's great to see the development of tools that solve common problems coming out of the communities that we serve. So uh, it's been really helpful in understanding how to solve the problems that I need to solve for the British Geological Survey and how I can integrate my data with other people and solve common problems. So it's been a fantastic and useful event and I look forward to meeting to the circuit with everyone. So I think the, the digital gathering this year um, at Bass has been a fantastic event and, and has really felt like an evolution compared to the uh, CDE 22 event run at the University of Birmingham last year. It, it's gone incredibly well. I think we've had uh, a wide variety of really interesting presentations, not just from the academic community, but also from, from our um, NERC centres and also in terms of research that's been funded through the Constructing a Digital Environment program but also more broadly by NERC as well. We've also had a really interesting balance that encompassed all of the main themes of the, of the event. So uh, looking at, at data science tools and techniques, people and skills, and next generation sensing, for example. And these themes resonate um, with the aspirations contained within the NERC digital strategy itself. So it, it, it's been really, really heartening to see how well the event has gone. And um, I hope we go on uh, as a council to support future annual events like this that bring the community together and allow individuals to have those important peer-to-peer -to -peer conversations 